more, more, more European style country. But uh, again, from, from the history point of view, uh, it's very clear that uh, Russia uh, is going through some kind of uh, developments uh, being uh, late somewhere around 50 or 100 years if you can give us with Europe. So the French Revolution uh, was, uh, uh, there was an attempt to copy the French Revolution back in 1917, but unfortunately for Russia uh, it went uh, to different results. Uh, Europe uh, went through uh, abolishing of uh, old empires, French, British, you know, and, and, and some, some, some other empires in the middle of the 20th century, uh, with all the problems of post imperial syndromes, France not knowing what to do with Algeria and things like that. So Russia is going through the same uh, post imperial, uh, how to say, Develop. And, uh, but it's, it, it's going uh, exactly just now with a lot of difficulties, uh, with, uh, of course, difference if you compare with, with Britain or France, it's, it's, very, it's very simple. Colonies of Britain and uh, France were overseas, colonies of Russian by, uh, were next door. It's more painful. But uh, so I am not able to predict exactly how attempts of modernization and post imperial uh, syndrome, how they will compete each other. And the last point Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova, Caucasus, I think that they will uh, realize there is a uh, very clear trend gravitation towards the uh, Europe. Gravitation it means, again, this is uh, terminology from physics, it happens by itself. Uh, so, with all the problems of uh, democracy, human rights, uh, and, 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 and things like that, gravitation will, will happen. In which form gravitation will result, I am not able to predict. But uh, again, for sure, there will be a strong interest uh, from uh, the EU side, uh, especially when China and, and India uh, will become really much more visible uh, as uh, those who are leading economic development globally, Europe will, will look for a possibility to strengthen itself as an economical entity, attracting some, some emerging economies closer to Europe. So, uh, so that is what we can say about about surrounding of Lithuania. Uh, what we can say about Lithuania? Uh, why, uh, why we, uh, when we are looking uh, to, to the future, uh, for the next 30 years, we can say about ourselves very simple words. Dynamism and ambition. So, you, if you will look into this calendar, you can see up till now what kind of dynamism we were facing or we were showing and what we achieved during the uh, last 20 years. Uh, what we are ready to achieve uh, during the next 20 years, again, we can show in this calendar. Of course, next year we shall win the uh, European Basketball Championship, which will be held in Lithuania. We are not so good in football, sorry for some problems which you have. <laughs> but uh, I am not able to give any advice on that. basketball. Game. So we shall win basketball, and uh, uh, perhaps in 2012 we should put that uh, maybe we shall win also uh, Olympic Games in London in basketball. Um, but uh, uh, we are quite quite polite here. Then, of course, uh, of course, uh, uh, we have very clear strategy introduction of euro or achieving sound fiscal fiscal situation uh, before 2014. And uh, becoming Nordic Baltic High Tech Service Hub uh, starting from 2015 uh, till, till 2030, which you will see that we shall really we shall achieve such a result. Uh, 